I'm going to end our week here. We're going to read from the book of First Peter. Chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 8, verses eight through 11. <clears throat> yeah, we've been in First Peter once, I think, already. But if not, add that's the bingo sheet. Another book in. Okay. Above all, maintain constant love for one another. For love covers a multitude of sins. <clears throat> Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do as one is speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him be whole, belong the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. I love this. This is a great theology of serving. Everything we talked about this week, why we serve. The how, I mean, is is right here. We love. Well, love covers a multitude of sins, right? It makes up for a lot. Grace has that power. God shows us that, right? The love of God covers the multitude of all our sins, right? So, so first we serve with love. Uh, we're hospitable. Well, <laughs> to another without complaining. Clearly, there's been some complaining he's addressing. Um, and like the stewards of the manifold grace. What a beautiful image. We've been given this grace and thus we are stewards of it. How is our, our serving reflect being stewards of manifold grace? Right? Serving each other with, with the gifts we have. It's gorgeous. It so perfectly shows that God has given to us this, this gift of grace. And thus we're charged to take care of it and share it with others. Love, hospitality, grace. I mean, th th these are the things that, that God is teaching us here to, to serve with. And of course, at the end, right? The God may be glorified, not us. To him belong the glory and power forever and ever. Right? Uh, sound familiar? Sound familiar? Ah, oh, to, to, to thine be the power of the glory forever and ever. Oh, the Lord's Prayer! The Protestant ending Lord's Prayer. That's where it comes from. See, I think this... this if I were to ask... Maybe, maybe, I could use that passage from Jesus we had earlier in the week about uh, God came to serve, not to be served, right? And that should be our model for us. But if I was asked, uh, verses for a theology of serving, what does that look like? How is it different from serving uh, other you know, organizations or groups or non-Christian, non whatever? What's the difference in our serving versus others serving? This would be it. This is what our serving should look like. It's not for us. It's loving. It's graceful. No complaining. <laughs> Hospitable. Remember, love goes multitude of sins. This is how our serving should look. And so, you know, God provides, as Peter's writing here. God saves, as we heard this week. We don't do it for our glory or for God's. I hope you're seeing there's an inherent relationship between God and our serving. So often I hear it's God comes and then, okay, well, we, we respond and serve. I mean, that's, that's partially true, but it's more interconnected than that. God's doing a lot more. We're not in on our own. God provides gifts. God provides community. God provides opportunities. God's with us in our serving, right? And it's interconnected at all levels. It's a theology. It's a manifold grace. Let's do our best to be good stewards of God's grace and serve by being the church. Have a good weekend.